bear with me this video can be better I'm too close to the camera I'm inside of a garage um, and the muffler is not welded so it could be better but here we have the super trap disc muffler clone and I have a resonator that I got from super trap itself we're gonna test it out and see what you think here you go disc muffler for my Honda GX200 mud motor engine. Uh, the disc muffler is a clone of a super trap disc muffler and I have a resonator which makes it even quieter. I had to actually buy this from Pegasus Auto Racing which but this is a 3S resonator basically three inch resonator three inch rings uh, this resonator costs seventy eight dollars and the muffler if you got it from super trap would cost one hundred and twenty dollars that's without the resonator so go to robertson's torque tube call them and order a disc muffler and it comes with twelve discs no resonator if you want to make it quieter, go either on supertrap.com or Pegasus Auto Racing. 
and get yourself the 3S uh, resonator. That's a 3 inch resonator for the disc muffler. Now, how these works, how this works is uh, the exhaust comes through and it comes out of these rings horizontally. Very easy to change if you want to make it quieter then you take more rings off of the muffler so right now I'm running 12 but with my engine I like it at 6 rings and that helps a lot with quieting it down then you put on that resonator and it really helps now you need to have one ring for three horsepower that comes off there's your spark arrester spark arrester and this is the only one the only one that's approved for the US Forest Service spark arrester that way you don't have to worry about starting a fire you have these rings guys and they have these holes in it and so it's stacked and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take there's three four five six one two three four five six got one too many off so I got six rings that helps really quiet it down then I have my resonator which is just this guys it's heavy actually though and uh, $78, $98 with shipping. Comes with a long J bolt. And uh, without the resonator, it is only. Now, I don't. I, there's a shorter J bolt that it comes with. But you get the idea. It's only. Without that J bolt coming out for the short one. It's only that tall, but you put on the resonator or that big. And you take off six rings. Stuff all your rings, just put it on there. Make sure you're good. Take your J bolt. Sorry for my videoing. Three, four, five, six rings. Six rings. Make sure all these circles are all lined up. Okay. Cat back on. I can find it. Washer. The nut. Bottom nut helps tighten it up. Top one. Before you tighten her down, make sure all your holes are lined up. You can kind of see it from the side. And just tighten her down. Don't over torque it. Make sure she's snug to where your rings are not being able to move. You can't spin them. Nice and snug. And there you go. There's your disc muffler with resonator. Helps dramatically cut down on sound when it's too loud. But it gives a nice good exhaust tone. A nice good tone, nice good sound, good note. Uh, but you still keep your power. Maybe a little bit of reduction in power, but you still have your low end torque. So maybe 
but you can just always add more discs if you are losing power, you know, if your engine is too restricted, but this should be fine. Uh, one disc for every three horsepower. So you might have noticed that it was still pretty loud. Uh, you couldn't really tell much of a difference. While I was too close to the engine, you can still hear the valves and the piston going. Also, I didn't have the muffler clamped down. And so it was not a great demonstration. Next demonstration will be better. It's actually quite a lot better if it's welded or clamped down tight. Uh, my engine had just blown up about 10 minutes after that. Thank you.